How's it going? I wanted to give a quick intro into Harvester and one of the ways that you can actually leverage a small mini desktop like this, or as uh, Serve the Home says, tiny mini micro. But this is just a Core i7 with 64 gigs of RAM and like 512 gig SSD and a little tiny box. I've got another one of these in my closet. And being able to use Harvester to spin up VMs, uh, one of the nice things about it is you can use a single NIC, but it requires a little bit of tweaking. And one of the things you have to do, and just to show you, I've, here it is right here. I've got one, I call it VM1, but I've got 64 gigs of RAM and I've got uh, plenty of storage. It, it's only an eight core with Core i7, so you might need a few of them, but you can over provision it. It's not a big deal. One of the interesting things you need to do is you need to go into the networking space here and you need to create a default or a local. Let me go ahead and hit create and kind of show you what that is. And you can give it a VLAN ID of one and just give it a fake name. Don't worry about anything for route. That's it. The nice thing about doing this is now when you go spin up a virtual machine, let me go ahead and hit create. Uh, there we go. Is when you go into the networkings, it automatically defaults you to the management. You can go ahead and change that to default. Uh, the management network will be on a 10. It'll be a non-routed internal to the hosts or hosts if you have multiple of them. Multiple of them. Um, by setting it to that default, then you can leave MAC address alone. It'll get uh, an IP on your forward network and then you can be able to get to it. One of the other cool things I wanna show you is the CLI, so Harvester CLI. This allows you to basically use your kube config file and talk to the cluster. So let's go, actually what I gotta do, uh, export, and this is Harvester. Big. So I've got basically my kube YAML and now I can do harvester VM list. So I've got no VMs running and then I can do let me do kind of a fun one. Whoop. Let me simplify this because I was spinning up three VMs there. So basically I can use create, I'm gonna use the template Rocky and while that's building, let me show you what that looks like. So we'll go back to Harvester, we'll go to virtual machines and notice it's already registering the one. One of the cool things is you can set up these templates and there's a cloud config template or a regular template. Uh, the cloud config is just the cloud init stuff. The regular template, and I'll go ahead and view it. Uh, I'll go ahead and view is you can go and say, okay, they give it a template name, you can give it the base CPU and memory, you can give it the default SSH key, you can give it the default volumes. In this case, I'm using the Rocky ISO, uh, basically CentOS, right? But the other cool thing is you know, the default network, but when you get into advanced options under user data, you can put your cloud init in here. One of the cool, uh, one of the things required for Harvester is QuemU guest agent, and this will actually uh, run a service on the box and configure it for QEMU. And so it can get the IP or show up in the dashboard, uh, which is nice. And then obviously you've got to run the command to start it. But one of the other cool things is you can go and define users. So in this case, I'm defining the default Clemenko user. I'm putting in my hash password. I'm setting my shell. I'm also saying add me to the Sudoers group. So I can do, I you know, can sudo as root. Uh, one of the interesting things is Rocky, the minimal ISO image doesn't come with sudo or Vim, so I've just added those there. Okay, uh, cool thing is I'm gonna have this template, uh, so there's the CLI, I'm gonna have all these links. Here's my template um, that you can use. I'm gonna post all these in the video link. Uh, pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to Harvester, let's go look at our virtual machine, see it's up and running. I can even do uh, VM list. I've got my IP and I can SSH in. And there we go. Uh, and my pseudo works. And so this is a pretty easy way to kind of use a single box to start playing with Harvester and VMs on your local network. Uh, the next step for me is plugging it into an existing rancher uh, cluster. So here I've got a rancher cluster up and running where I can actually go, let me go look at cluster management. This is kind of a fun thing. And I can go create um, I've got a, and yeah, I can actually point it to Harvester and have it automatically spin up VMs and build a RKE2 cluster and check it into Rancher. Uh, cool. So once again, everything will be in the link to, in the description of the video. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Hope this was enlightful.